Hello, this is Anthony Redamonti with Copy Controls. Today we're going to show how CVM can send uh, <clears throat> PDOs over can open uh, to plus drives. So let's just do a quick demo here. And here's another So um, Basically, uh, I just wanted to show the application. So what we're doing here is we have uh, an MP3. It's a plus 3-axis CAN drive. Um, I have firmware 4.42 in here. Um, and then I also have a downstream uh, on address four, I have an XPC. <clears throat> and so axis A has address one, axis B has address two, axis, axis uh, C has address three. And uh, so we want to make sure that these addresses um, don't, uh, are, are different. Um, but Anyway, the goal of this application is to send an event-triggered PDO to um, to a can open drive. So each uh, we we'll use CVM to do this, where the position data from axes A on this three axes MP3 are going to is going to be sent to uh, you know this XPC over here, and the XPC likewise will send its position data. In a event-driven PDO to the MP3 on Xyz, and that's what you're getting here in these registers is the updated uh, event-driven um, PDOs. So it gives you the updated position data stored in a CVM register. Um, so yeah, let's uh, just quickly uh, go through some uh, prerequisite uh, information. So the <clears throat> this again is for um, can open drives, not EtherCAD drives, and uh, this is starting with uh, this is a firmware feature starting uh, in, and this is only for Plus products. So uh, starting with for, firmware four point one two or greater for the Plus firmware, or uh, oh, it's also an ARM uh, ARM firmware, so one point five six uh, ARM firmware or higher. Um, you'll have this CVM feature. So uh, it adds um, options to the network, uh, the network options parameter, it adds a feature to that. So um, you set the network options parameter to hex 30 uh, in RAM and flash, and then uh, you'll enable this feature. So what do I mean by that? I mean, you go to tools, ASCII command line, and you would, you know, dot a set f0 x and 21 through x30 and then you do the same thing in ram i already did that so um, if you do a get in hex you get 30. so um, I did that for both of these, and then uh, just again, uh, 4.12 firmware greater, um, and uh, yeah, so we can monitor the CAN traffic as well in CAN view. Um, so let me start these up again here. You can see the event triggered PDOs are being sent, and um, as we're making a move in CVM, all these PDOs are being triggered. As we're setting the uh, setting this bit, we're triggering a, a, the uh, PDO. So let me stop the example and, and look at the programming. So these are exact copies of these two uh, programs in the two drives. So first we set up the TPDO for PDO number five. It has a COB ID of six six seven. It's twenty nine bits. Uh, it's event it's event driven, um, and we have the position data, 
for um, just 32 bits in, of, uh, in size. So this has to match this, uh, this RPDO. So see how the Cobb IDs match? 667, 667, PDO number 5, PDO number 5, uh, 29 bits. Uh, it's asynchronous, which means that it's uh, event-driven. So it's PDO type number 254. Um, and then this is, uh, this is the index that we're going to store the data in. We're going to store it in the CVM register um, subindex 4. So again, 32 bits of size. So subindex 4 is register 3 because it's zero indexed. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so this likewise will send its position data in a TPDO with COB ID 666. And then over here, we'll receive that COB ID and store it in register 2, R2. And so what I have here is uh, this get set parameter actually triggers the uh, PDO. So you need to set uh, parameter 108 to 1. Uh, you set it in RAM. So adding this step actually will trigger the PDOs that are event driven to be, uh, that are mapped uh, as event driven to be sent. So I have a loop. Uh, I, I wait. I don't need this delay, but I just I had it in there. Um, and then I have a move of 1,000 counts. And then I conditionally jump back to step number three, which is triggering the PDO. So really, you can just sit. You don't need the move or the wait, del wait for the delay time. You can just have a conditional jump back to the get set parameter. But you know, you could. it's just to illustrate that you could have different things going on. But as long as you set this bit here, that's when you actually will trigger the information. You'll trigger the PDO. So, yeah, um, I hope this was helpful. This is a new feature in uh, CVM, and um, just wanted to let you know that it's out there.